Hi, everybody, and welcome to Go Chords 101. Today, we're going to show you how to create a song in Go Chords and just how easy it is. If you don't have a Go Chords account yet, just go to www.gochords.com and click the button that says Start Your Free Account. To create a song on Go Chords, click the tab at the top of the page called Songs. This is where you'll save your songs and songs that other Go Chorders have shared with you. You'll see a little plus mark that has the label Create a New Song. Click that. This brings up the Jump Start box. This will really help you get your song going quickly. First, enter the name of your song. You can always change that later if you want to. Next, select the instrument you'll be using to create and to play your song. Here you can see I've selected guitar. This too can change later. In fact, that's one of the really great features about Go Chords. The third thing you're going to do here is enter the lyrics for your song. You can either type them or just cut and paste from another file. First, I'll select all the lyrics, copy them, click the Jump Start box, and now Paste. Now you're ready to create your song. Don't worry if things aren't perfect here. You'll be able to edit a little later. Now click the Continue button. Go Chords has started the song for you with your title at the top and each lyric line from your pasted song is on a separate line. Now it's time to really have some fun. Over on the left side of the screen, you'll see the tab that reads Chords. Click that and the chord palette will appear. As you can see, you can drag them anywhere on the screen that's convenient. The chord palette has tabs and buttons that makes it easy for you to choose the chords in a variety of ways. Chords by Family lets you see a complete set of available chords for any given chord root. Here we're looking at the C chords. If I click on the F sharp, I see all the F sharp chords and so on. Chords by Variant lets me look for chords of a particular type. For example, if I'm looking for diminished chords across various families, I'll click the Diminish button here and see all of the diminished chords. The Simples tab gives me some simple notation I can use in my song, time signatures, repeats, and so on. There are two other tabs at the top, but we'll come back to that later. Let's go back to Chords by Variant, and let's select Major Chords. Now, to get the chord symbols onto my song, all I have to do is drag them out of the palette. It's like color forms for adults! If you make a mistake and need to change one of the chords, all you have to do is pull your cursor over the chord and click the little red X when it comes up. Simply drag another chord from the palette into its place. Once the chords are there, you can always change their positions by dragging them around on the line like this. If you're creating more complicated songs, Go Chords will remember the chords used. If you click on Recently Used tabs, there they are to be used. This is really handy if you're doing a lot of the same chord forms over and over. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please come visit us at www.gochords.com. And remember, you don't have to read to write.